hello guys welcome to my channel it's eager plus action trader so today i have taken some trades in a um, bad market but the thing is that i made losses and you know some people might be discouraged with losses but for me i am very proud of it of it because it shows that i have to do something and i will show you uh, the reason why I lose trade, I see losses like something that I can learn from it, and uh, yes, and I, I, ha I have made three losses. It's it's pretty bad performance, but the thing is that I have learned things that uh, uh, that uh, would prevent me to take risky trade and to make wins more easily. So these losses here guys, if you see these losses, it only indicates you that you are on the right track and it's time for you to learn more and to apply more your strategy and to know when it will work and when it will not work. As you can see here, this strategy will not work. So. <coughs> This is a, the mindset that you need to have when it comes to trading. You don't see losses like something, um, you don't see losses like um, a burial, like you have failed and that it's and like you give up. But you know, to keep going, you need to fail a lot in order to, uh, to be good at something. And it is good in real life, okay? If, if you want uh, to be like, uh, if, if you want, um, to be a scientist you need to be like you need to encounter a failure okay so uh, let's jump into the video i'm um, have trade take some trades so this is my first trade so the thing is that why i have wins this trade is because as you can see this is an exhaustion candlestick we can see this is a kind of a process of elimination at this raw number the market, the Bollinger Bell is squeezing here, so we get our an exhaustion candle in in ranging market. You can see all the email of flat, so then the Bollinger Bell is squeezing. That's why I have taken this trade, and you can see it's a win straight. Okay, uh, let me take. I have taken another trade, so this is my second trade. I have taken this trade here because you can see here we get our retracement we get an uptrend the blink away start expanding and we have a strong candlestick here most people will go with a lower option because of this like this key level which it which is the 200 ema but the thing is that you need to place a high option because this is too flat and you know in a rain in, in an uptrend market flat ema, EMA, EMA will get broken very quickly so now now let's analyze our losses so our our my first losses is here so why do i lose this trade if you see very clearly here we get a momentum and the thing is that when i saw the weak candle i immediately placed a low option and i i was supposed that i, I thought that the deviation will act as a resistance and the price will drift down but if you see very clearly here, this is spinning top. It gets support from the key level, which show buying pressure and like a momentum, and it gives this candle more pressure to make another candle. And you can see it made another bullish candle just because this candle has touched the EMA, and uh, we get a small force momentum force, and the Bollinger bands, and and uh, the and uh, this forces make another candle you can see here i lose this one just because of a bad analysis i was like in a rush and i have a thought i thought that it, because it is weak i go with sellers but i'm i'm very i'm not angry but it's still it's a loss but I, I am proud because i have learned this these things which is when i cannot touch a key level it should buy pressure so it can make another candle okay so let's see this one here why do I lose this trade? If you see very clearly here, the market starts from this level. The trend starts from this level. We can see like it is a 
a bad market yeah and it is also a healthy market you can see there are many buyers seller buyer sellers so this strategy has not worked here because after the breakout of this deviation the bullying the, this candle is outside the bullying events which is a sign of a reversal or in a retracement and the market rather make a retracement and then continue its uh, its trend so this candle six show retracement because this this is the candle is outside the Bollinger Bands. There is no breakout of a key level. So I have I have missed it with a breakout of key levels and as a result I have lost this trade. Okay, let's jump on into another video, another um trade I have done. So this type of candlestick here, why do I lost? The thing is that I haven't uh, like I watched the price movement and my mind said okay just place a low option here but the thing that I have forget forgotten is that there are key level below so the thing is that guys you need to watch your levels clearly and you can see this is a an example how you should trade and uh, and you should watch this key level here because the price sometimes bunch, uh, bounce back to key level and make another candlestick. And you can all know, you all know that this candle here, which is an inverted hammer, a, an inverted hammer or an inverted pin bar, this is this candlestick is often a continuation sign. So that's why I lose the trade. This is because the key levels, because this is a reversal sign, and because. Um, the, and because there is a small uptrend here and the EMAs are below and when the price tells the EMAs it reverses the market even if there is another resistance which is the deviation so thank you guys for watching and I, I have told you that I will make video every day even my losses you can see I have I, I have uh, like I show all my losses here and I, I am not afraid to show them and that's why I told you that we can learn together and I'm not that fake gurus on the internet they only show wins okay I, I have bought uh, like a signal from uh, trading tricky but the signal are almost fake um, they are like inaccurate and I lose a lot of money so this channel will give you, will show you the right way which is a hard way to learn and to make and to make progress I told you if you use this strategy you will make progress but you still have you still have to learn things okay you still have to learn things so thank you guys for watching this video and and uh, have a good day thank you